Good day from ChemHelp ASAP. Approval of a drug requires the FDA to be convinced that the drug is both safe and effective. To be safe and effective, the concentration of the drug must be dosed so that the CP value falls within a range of values. The safe and effective range for CP defines something called the therapeutic window of a drug. Let's look again at an oral drug CP time curve and add some perspective. During phase one clinical trials, the drug company learns the CP values that give rise to increased incidence of adverse drug reactions. This co concentration corresponds to the maximum maximum tolerated concentration or MTC. A drug does not become deadly above the MTC. The, the MTC simply defines the CP value at which the adverse drug reactions outweigh a drug's therapeutic benefit. During phase two clinical trials, a company learns the CP values that provide an acceptable level of therapeutic benefit. This is the minimum effective concentration or MEC. These two CP values, MTC and MEC, together define the therapeutic window of a drug. A drug with a wider therapeutic window is considered safer. In phase two trials, a dosing regimen is developed so that the CP value of a drug is maintained within the therapeutic window during the course of treatment. Phase three trials confirm the validity of the dosing regimen. For an oral drug, dosing is complicated by the peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys in the CP time curve for multiple oral doses. It'll look something like this. CP varies considerably between doses, and yet the CP must not exceed the maximum tolerated dose or fall below the minimum, toler minimum effective dose. Adjustments to either the amount of drug in a dose or the frequency of dosing give control over the range of the peaks and valleys. Although the gold standard in oral drugs is developing a once-per-day dosing regimen.